ago, I got the honor of ministering at SoCal Youth. It's basically a collection of churches that bring their youth groups together, and they asked me to come and speak. There's probably about 60, 70 students there, and it was amazing. I had the honor of ministering and being with them, and I shared about the love of God, and at the very end, I started just praying for students. I did an altar call, and about 30 students came up and gave their lives to the Lord. It wasn't an altar call that said, hey, raise your hand at your seat. I said, guys, there's something powerful when you show the world, you stand up in front of your friends and you say, I want Jesus and you make a stand to come forward. So they walked to the front publicly declaring they were choosing Jesus. One student in particular had never heard about Jesus. He actually just came because his next door neighbor invited him. He was a junior high kid. And then when I was praying for him, I had this sense that God wanted to speak directly to him. So I just said, hey, man, I think God's going to show you something. And then the kid said, yeah, I see it. And I said, well, what, what do you see? And he said, I, I see this big light and I feel I hear this voice that says, come step into the glory. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> he he's not church. He doesn't know what the word glory is. He heard this voice say, come step into my glory. And he prayed and said, yeah. And he pictured himself stepping into that glory with God. He said he felt love come over him like he's never before. And he totally got blessed and filled uh, with the love of God in that moment. Right after that, I worked my way through the crowd and I began to pray for other students. There was a girl I prayed for who freshly for the first time gave her life to Jesus. And at the end of the prayer, she said, Oh, and by the way, my ankle is healed now. And I said, what, what do you mean? And she said, before you started praying, I came in here with a messed up ankle and I was hobbling. I came up to give my life to Jesus. And as you're praying for me, all the pain went away. And I said, what? No way. And she stood up and down and started moving her ankle. And she was like, yeah. All the pain's gone. So she got saved and she got healed in the moment. And a third quick testimony, man, I don't even know what I believe about it. It was one of the craziest things I've seen God do. Uh, you see, a girl came up to me at the end of the night and she said, hey, remember last year when you prayed for me? And I had to remember for a second, but she reminded me a year ago, I was at an event and she was at that event as well. She was probably 14 years old at the time. She gave her life to the Lord at that event. Um, but then at the time we prayed for her because I felt like someone uh, needed prayer for their hips. So I said, does anyone here have hip issues? She raised her hand. And at the time she told me that ever since she was born, She's had uh, some disorder called, that she said is called like frog hips or something. She said basically her hips are bent inwards and they don't bend right. And it's caused issues her whole life and it causes her knees to be bent and off as well. And they waited for her to kind of grow through puberty and then they were going to do a massive surgery on her because it was the only way. So she grew up her whole life in pain knowing when I'm finally a teenager, I'll be able to get surgery. She said the only cure pretty much for this issue this ailment she has is surgery where they pull your hips apart, reposition them in the right spot and, and screw them back together as well as the same thing with her knees. And so she was getting ready for this surgery when I prayed for her a year ago. Okay. So she now fast forward a year later, she comes up and she tells me I didn't need surgery. And then she says a month after you prayed for me, I went to the doctor to go into the pre-surgery final scans and they scanned my hips again. And they they said, hold on, your hips are changing. The doctors told her we don't want to do surgery because it looks as though your hips are, are almost turning back to normal. They continued to scan her over the next couple of months and her hips went fully back to normal. Her knees are normal. She said a year later, she has no pain. She needed no surgery. She did no physical therapy and this lifelong pain is gone. And it was a testimony to all her friends and family of what God can do because she has had this ailment for 14 years and now here she is 15 years old saved completely set free for the rest of her life those are just three testimonies that's happened this last month we've also seen other salvations we've planted the house of prayer we've seen teams come in we have five different churches partnering with us now so i'll have to in the future send you even more testimonies. so that's just a little tiny piece of what god has been doing because of your partnership with my wife and i and giving us the freedom to be missionaries do ministry and to build fireplace ministry so thank you so much once again for your time your prayer and your support excited for the new testimonies that are going to come this upcoming next couple months